Well, hello everybody, happy Friday and welcome to another live stream here from um, from the Flagami studio. Let me make sure that I have the correct internet and that you guys uh, can hear me okay and all that good stuff. Uh, welcome everybody and thank you so much for being here. I really enjoy uh, doing this. Um, let me lower the microphone just a tad. I really enjoy doing this uh, uh, every Friday afternoon, evening or night, depending where you are. And um, oh, let me check out the chat here. We, we you guys started without me. <laughs> and um, Animal House sitting for a few days. Shirley Benoit from Ohio. Adventures with Rosie. I took your advice, Robert, and use uh, one of those 3M GoPro mounts on the front of our caravan. Works well and didn't fall off. Not yet. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the, I mean, mine has been there for five years and it's pretty good. Oh, CLT coming from Paris. Bonjour, Monsieur CLT. Oh, is it bonsoir if it is nighttime there? Uh, cool, cool that uh, you're tuning in from all the way from the other side of the pond. And uh, we have uh, Marzan Worldwide from Key West and Polly P. And uh, Adventures with Rosie from New Zealand. All right, New Zealand. One of these days, one of these days, we're going to make it uh, down there. Uh, and, and North Island or South Island. I don't know, but we're going to rent uh, one of those uh, Class C caravans. Uh, William Rizarri, hola, cabezas de pelicanos. And uh, CLT, okay, make us jealous now. I just finished Le Tour de Fell. It's amazing. And uh, Andrea says, Salute, Sal salute, Andrea, and happy birthday. And uh, where were we? I, I definitely uh, uh, skipped a couple of people here, didn't I? Let me, let me point the microphone a little more towards my mouth here. Hope you can hear me okay. And Lucky Dog, hello there. And, uh, yeah, it's morning in New Zealand, huh? Cool. Look at that Productions moderator. Hello there. And um, we have Adventures with Rosie. It's beautiful here. All right. Red Jaguar is in the house, too. Oh, man. Too many, too many comments. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Tammy McDowell, hello, and Jody K, Ohio Travels with Chris, Lisa Martin, hello, watching at your job, and uh, don't get in trouble there, Max McLear doing gardening here in Arizona, temps below 100 now, congratulations, and um, below 100, that's that's always good, it's, uh, it's been kind of, it's, it's been a little less warm here in the Sunshine State, but still a little too warm for comfort, let me tell you. Um, I think the, my, my microphone is still a little hot. I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit. Because because when I was doing my mic check, I wasn't talking as loud. And that's usually what happens. Barbara Zig, hello there. Illy and everybody from Barbara and Sam. And the Red Jaguar. Flat Earth, Flat Earth Vegans. Uh, Vegans, what beer tonight? Oh, I'm glad you asked. And uh, let me see. I don't know. We're going to get something here from the fridge. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to begin with my last perpetual IPA from Troigs. This one came all the way, although I do have some stuff from I even further away, but we're going to start with... Uh, This one's for Red Jaguar. I'm going to open it with my uh, Romulan Ale. Um, uh, bottle opener. And as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of remodeling here in the studio. This is going to be like the new angle that I'm going to use for now. I mean, if, if, I, if, if I remove the chat, you can see, uh, you know, the, 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 the previous backdrop. But I'm gonna make this area here my my whole workstation for music and for uh, 
for video. So anyways, I'm using my, my concrete uh, brewing uh, company uh, glass here and uh, Cheers, everybody. Sante for the people in France. <sighs> Hi, Robert from the Czech Republic. And you should know about beer, right? Being from the Czech Republic. And uh, Max McLear, greetings. And um, Barb F. Uh, Hi, Robert from Jim and Barb. Hey, I got your, your voicemail today. And I'll, I'll play it back in the podcast uh, next Friday. Uh, hello, uh, Lisa Martin. Hello, Tom Atkinson from Nash Vegas. Alberto Silva. Dime, uh, Diamond, Dime, and my wife loves your intro, uh, B roll music. Thank you so much. And Shifting Currents from Louisville, Kentucky. David Poggio from Long Island. And this traveler in this is in the house. Uh, traveling Robert, you bonehead! You started early. LOL. Well, you know, uh, I, you know, I was here and I, and I saw that you guys were already chatting amongst yourselves. So I said, you know, you know, might as well. Um, let, let's do a little early uh, chat here. Uh, Paul Villalba, Roberto, saludos desde Houston. Hace tiempo sin verte. Gusto amigo, eres el mero mero. Thank you, uh, Paul Villalba. Uh, play a song, actually, which reminds me. Tonight I'm playing at the Magic City Casino here in Miami. Around nine ish, and um, if you if you guys are in the area, if you want to check it out, we are at the second floor bar, right next to the bar. It's like a makeshift uh, stage there. It's just four of us, so yeah. Uh, and Ohio travels with Chris. Fifties here, uh, yeah. Well, when I was up north, not in, not not so much in Ohio, but a little further north, it was already starting to get uh, a little colder. If if that's uh, and uh, Yesenia Bonaventure from Las Vegas. And thank you from Andrea. You're welcome, CLT, a lucky dog moderator. Uh, uh, she's uh, okay. He's uh, saying hello to this. Uh, local 1001 enjoys your vlogs. Thank you, Alberto Silva. I'm very idle, idle man. Looking forward to hearing what the women have to say. The other mic makes you sound like Casanova. Really? <laughs> um... Well, right now I, I don't have all the all the you know I, I'm 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 speaking a little louder, but um, if, if you if you listen to the podcast uh, this morning, uh, that's this mic that I'm I mean I'm testing it out, but I'm gonna start using it. I think it's it it sounds pretty good. Uh, my sound is a little bit tinty, like those ra AM radio announcer really. I don't know, I'm not monitoring. Oh, Adventures with Rosie. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. And, um, and yeah, one of these days we're going to make it to, to New Zealand. Uh, definitely. Rich Family TV. Hey, Robert, what's your idea? Also, when do you add uh, driving to the east? Driving to the east. Um, next week, for sure. I have to, I have to finish it. I'm coming up with a couple new verses just to make it like a more complete song because I, 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 I realized that I had a couple more verses recorded here on my phone. You know, sometimes I come up with the idea when I'm driving on the road and I record stuff. So that's coming soon. Um, uh, Kathy B, what's your favorite state to visit? Kathy in Jersey. Um, th there's so much, so many and some, so much cool stuff in every single state. Although... Um, I'm kind of kind of itching to go back to Arizona at some point. I was watching the video from from another RVer, RVer TV actually is his name, and um, he doesn't do much editing, but he just drives around in uh, in his RV. And he's, he was uh, showing quartzite right now, as it is right now, uh, how things are starting to open and getting ready for the season. And uh, and uh, I already committed to to spending the winter in Florida, but let me tell you, it's kind of tempting. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, I, I, I really like visiting many, many states. Uh, hello from Puerto Rico. Hello there, Agent Officer Thomas A. Porter, DPO, Miami. I remember when I was uh, in uh, it was Miami. Those were the days. I thought they would never change, but they did. How the journey is. Uh, hey, Robert, what's the dress code for Casino Bar? I don't think there's a dress code. <laughs> 
uh, to be honest about it. Um, you know, just, um, you know, I guess, shoes and, and shirts required, that kind of thing. But I don't think they have a dress code. Uh, CLT, uh, man, I'm gonna miss your show. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm gonna be playing there again uh, soon at some point. And um, yeah, L L Leo sent me a, a text on Monday. I think it was a Monday or Tuesday, and he says like, Robertico, can you play this weekend? And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, I, I need to, I need to stay active. By the way, I, I, I see my internet kind of going up and down here. I don't know if, uh, if you guys. Um, See me okay. Um, Lucille King, hi Robert, waiting for more videos. More, well, yeah, the, the next video is already in the can. It's already uh, uploaded, and um, and uh, and the next one, the, the one for the following Sunday, I'm editing back there right now. I don't know if you can see. No, you cannot see. Let me take out the chat. Chat. Yeah, that's that's a. That right there, that's uh, still from the the San Jacinto Monument in Houston. That's the next video. Quick preview there, chat, boom. Um, uh, Lucky Dog, okay, yes, Arizona. Yeah, I like Arizona, Max. What can I say? It was one of my first states that I fell in love with out west, so... A nomadic Drifter, I did get both my stickers. Sorry for the mix-up. Thank you. No, you're very welcome. Thank you. And Larry Johnson, hello, Robert from Ontario, Canada. I got to visit Ontario again. Barbara Zig is in a musical mood, I see. Steve Halterman, I don't think that you sound teeny. And if I speak like this, you know, it's uh, it's even more of that uh, podcast voice. But you know what I mean? Uh, hey, Robert from New Hampshire, White Mountains, and I missed New Hampshire on this trip, but I wanted to get back home already. Um, but yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, a lucky dog, this traveler. Hold on. Oh, uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, Andrea Monica, hello there. Hi, Robert from Pennsylvania. Hello, Andrea Monica. Uh, and glad you guys are here. And uh, no, stay in Florida for winter. Yeah, I'm going to winter in Florida this year. I'm going to see if I can get into any of the state parks. As you know, Florida can get a little crowded in, in, in around February, but uh, I'm going to do it. Hello, Robert. Uh, Pat from oh, Pat from Tallahassee. Hello there. How's the GoPro 7 working out? When it works, it's great. But the audio is really, really bad. I don't know. It, 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 it's doing some kind of... Uh, I'm going to do the update. There's an update for it. It's doing some kind of algorithm between the two microphones that sometimes they cancel each other out. And all of a sudden, the audio is great. And then it gets... It gets almost like this. It, it, it's weird. I don't know, man. Uh, this traveler, okay, I changed my audio processor equalizer. So, okay, now, much, uh, much deep voiced. I'm glad... I'm glad Armando Correa, hello from upstate New York. One of these days I'm going to make it to upstate New York. I want to do Rochester and uh, and Buffalo and um, eat Buffalo wings in Buffalo and uh, visit the Eastman Kodak Company in Rochester if they're still there. Um, Blast the move. Hey, Robert, now that you have added so many destinations to your map, can you say your top three U.S. destinations? It's hard to tell. It, it really depends what you want to see. But uh, sticking to national parks, Grand Canyon, it's number one. And uh, um, I want to say Yellowstone. Actually, actually, I liked it a lot. Death Valley. Uh, but there's so much. That all, all the all the national parks in Utah. I mean, I, I you see, I cannot do a top three. That's that that that's not what what I can do. I could also name you top three cities. I could name you, um, but I can. You can't, you know, because every every place is special in its own way. It's it's kind of weird. Uh, Wendland Robert is Ross from RV or TV. Hello there. Uh, how, how the weather in Miami? It's getting a little cold, cooler in Tennessee. No, here it's it's still warm for the most part. I notice it in the in the morning when I go out uh, jogging. 
it's in the low 80s sometimes even high 70s so um that that's the in the morning at 6 a.m but it, it actually it, it, sunrise is at, is at seven so yeah uh, uh, mountain salsa hey robert love the shirt oh thank you i bought this actually at the rv hall of fame in elkhart indiana some years back that was a, a part of our uh, chicago road trip and uh, yeah hey robert don't forget my range oh clt yeah i remember we spoke about that on the last uh and i i don't know how to do it <laughs> uh, it's here here we go should i remove put user in timeout report should i should i go to the channel and any new videos from paris no, I, I wanted to add as moderator. One more moderator, just in case a CLT or Sue or or um, or Red Jaguar are not, are not here. A CLT has a can also be like you know uh, putting people on timeout when they don't behave. Eat, sleep, RV, repeat. Hi, how are you guys? Uh, hello, Robert. Happy Friday. Could you announce ahead of time when you are playing live? We could, would have loved attending, but we need to plan it. Yeah, I know. I found out sometime this week, and uh, I, I could have done like an, like an Instagram story about it, but I forgot. Uh, so, yeah. Stephen Fisher. Hello, Robert from Colorado. Really enjoy your travel videos. Can you, I can tell you put a lot of time in producing them. Uh, the great quality. Thank you so much, William Rizzardi. All sounds good. Well, I'm glad. Oops, sorry. And my favorite Arizona, Russ V, RV or TV. Yep. RV or TV. Sydney, yes. Hi, Robert. Can you say hi to my dad? Hey, Corey. Uh, Sydney's dad. And uh, any plans on a trip to Virginia? I just came back from there, actually. I did the, the Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park. I visited Lisburg, uh, Virginia. I went to the, that, the um, what's the name of the county? You know, where Lisburg is, where they have all the wineries. I, I, I did part of that. So, um, yeah, I did a little bit of Virginia on this trip. See you, magical plans. Saw magical plans, right? Oh. Where were we? I don't want to. I don't want to miss anybody today. Although my great idea, uh, you know, I miss a lot of the comments here in the chat many times because the chat goes faster than that I can read everything or elaborate on messages. So I'm thinking, whatever messages I miss, I'm going to answer them on the podcast on the following Friday. I think that's what I'm going to do. So RV vacation. Hello from South Dakota. Can't chat now. Eastbound to home downtown and uh, Pimatuning State Park in Northwest Pennsylvania. Windy as heck out here. Well, drive carefully. And this traveler is still at home, not on a trip, but he's leaving soon. St Stephen Hawkins. Hello, Robert and Amaranto Cabrera. Hello, Robert. Long time to no see. I like the studio remodeling. Yeah, it's a uh, little by little. It's it's coming along and uh, and. Um, Lot, lots of stuff, uh, lot, lots of changes here, you know, it's, um, not, not lots of changes, but um, just a little bit of remodeling, making uh, my editing and my working a little more comfortable. That's the idea. Uh, by the way, for those of you just joining me, uh, besides that great idea about uh, answering some of the comments that didn't get answered here on the podcast, um, uh, tonight... 9 p.m. Uh, Magic City Casino. I'm going to be playing there with Grupo Cache. And um, it was short notice for me, too. But I said, like, you know what? You know, I, I want to stay active. I want to stay singing once in a while. So it's all good. Uh, hey, Robert, really enjoy the videos. I am holding you responsible for my upcoming purchase of a new RV. Talk about the Colorado a little bit, how it has performed and how the towing MPG. Well, the Colorado, after all these uh, miles, 18,000 miles, a little over 18,000 miles on the last trip, and it's, it's already like 37,000. Yeah, that warranty is going soon. Um, or it went already, I don't even know. Um, it's performed well. I mean, it's um, I, in the past, I have complained. I have my gripes, my old man gripes about all the uh, unnecessary, useless technology that gets in the way sometimes especially that head unit that don't get me started 
and stuff that happens automatically that shouldn't. Uh, but um, but it's been reliable. It's been it's, it tows great. As you know, I have the gas uh, model um, three point uh, yeah three point six uh, V six. And it works well. For towing my, my, my current trailer, it's more than enough. And um, one day and 13 hours to go. All right, man. Hit the road. Hit the road. This. Um, good morning from the Gold Coast, Australia. Australia. All right. We have another one. Another person from down under. And um, love your adventure and we'll be traveling in the usa in five years and hopefully i'll be traveling in australia in less than that man i really I, I really really that's bucket list for sure um, um going to palm beach in two weeks would love to meet you well palm beach is about an hour and a half north of here without traffic so yeah let, let, let's uh let me know let me know when you're in the area and uh, and we'll see yeah we can meet halfway i don't know RV vacation uh, uh, in in North Dakota. The wind is harsh today. Yeah, I can imagine. Lucky dog, uh, get your bags packed. This, <laughs> uh, this uh, Stephen Hawkins, how's your solar system working for you? The, the solar seems to be working okay, but uh, my batteries are insufficient. But it doesn't matter how much solar I have if uh, at night I drain my batteries. So that that's that's another problem for for a, a different day. I don't have any long trips planned right now, so I'm not gonna make the spend this, the, the expenditure in, in new batteries. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, do um, AGMs or if I might go crazy and go for uh, lithium. But something must, something's gotta be done, and I'll get to it at some point. Claude René, bonjour, Robert from Montreal, Q C, Quebec, Quebec. Well, bonjour, Claude, and uh, thank you for being here, uh, Sante. Uh, Candice Beeks, uh, hey Robert from Colorado, getting ready to head to the Arkansas Ozarks. I want to go there too. I'll bet you love Zion Angels Landing. What's epic? Oh yeah, Zion National Park is amazing. That was yeah, that was especially in the winter because there was very few people there. I don't know if I would like it with the crowds. Man, I went to Yosemite and uh, it was was worse than Disney World uh, out there. Yeah. Especially because the parking is insufficient. And uh, did I miss a super chat? Yes, Max McLear. Thank you so much for that super chat, man. I, I, um, I kind of lost it there in the, in the, in the chat. And Tampa Johnny said, Sunshine Key RV for two weeks. Big Pine Key. D no, nothing going on. Dead here. From Miami Airport. Traffic horrible. Yeah, that's Miami for you. But yeah, the keys at this time of the year are, are kind of... Um, in the off season, let's put it that way. Um, it's going to take a lot of time if you rewatch your chat on here. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm thinking of playing the video, playing back the video, uh, you know, twice uh, the speed, and just look for comments that I don't remember uh, answering or s something that I find interesting. And I know a lot of interesting comments just get passed through, you know. Hey, Gina Hernandez from California. Did you go on that glass bottom walk? Hey, that, that you that, uh, when you went to the Grand Canyon, uh, I went when it first opened. And uh, what did you think? No, I didn't. And I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it it, it feels kind of gimmicky. And uh, I, there's something I read that they don't take you let you take pictures or something like that. I don't know. But uh, you you can you can enjoy the the Grand Canyon without going into that uh, walkway, I think, and it's not even in the widest uh, part of the Grand Canyon. Hey, one day I might do it, but it's not on the plans. Uh, Papa Drew, <clears throat> hello there, and Scott Horn, hello there. It's been um, it's uh, from Greenwood, South Carolina. I like the new room arrangement decorations. You look well rested after your mega trip. Yeah, today it's been a, uh, a restful day, kind of. I'm working on my on my Houston uh, video, but uh, I've I've been taking it easy today, especially since tonight I have to 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 play at the casino, uh, and that, that that ends at 1 a.m. and I'm not really used to that anymore. Let me tell you. 
Catherine uh, Anderson, we've been waiting for you to come to Virginia. Robert, great. Looking forward to the videos. Hello and have a great weekend. No, thank you. And Kevin and Becky Pritchard. Hello there. It's been a while from Sydney, Montana. And the sugar, you are doing the sugar beet harvest? That's really cool. Uh, that, that I want to do uh, one of these days. Um, not like anything for the experience. I mean, you you make a you 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 make quite a, a bit of money in in the, in the, in the two or three weeks or whatever. I've seen videos of other people doing it, and I would love to do it, and maybe make it a tradition, like do it every year. You know, it's uh, it's one of those things that it's a thing. Uh, Casey Winkle, uh, can't wait for your next video. New mics is, is sounding great. Really appreciate all your videos. It's inspiring. My wife and I. To do more traveling, yeah. This mic is it's um it it, 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 it you know it's uh what do you call it um it's called Fifine, and uh, the company reached out to me and they say you know you want to test uh, this new mic that we have and I'm like uh, yeah sure I've, I've I've always wanted uh, um um. I'm starting to maybe I shouldn't drink no more beer. I've always wanted a, a USB mic because you know I have I have a very good 20 year old mic that that's the one that I use, but I need the audio interface in order to hook it up to the computer and it, and it never worked right uh, with the live chat because for some reason the audio interface thought that I wanted to do a stereo. So if you were listening with headphones, you would only hear it on one side. I used it once or twice for the live stream, so but this one. I'm gonna start using it, especially for live streams or for interviews. If someone wants to call me from, a, like, I'm 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 gonna do a couple of interviews now for a couple of radio stations, and we can do this. Uh, Robert, how do you address security and securing your mini teeny, especially now that you are a high-profile RVer? Um, I lock the door. Eventually, I want to do cameras, but more and more for security. Just when when I'm staying at a at a Walmart or one of these places that I have my windows my my windows closed, and I want to see what's going on outside. You know, sometimes you hear noises, and you hear people talking, and you don't know what's going on. So it'll be good to to know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, the, 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 I don't have. I'm not that far behind on the chat. And Donald Bailey apparently was being rude because I see that Lucky Dog Productions moderator deleted him the message. But my great idea is that to 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 use all the comments that I didn't get a chance to answer here on the on, on the live chat answer them on the podcast I do need more beer thank you Tammy yeah I think so too go shall uncle robert you are my original nephew you are I think the first person who started uh, calling me uncle um uh, Hey, Carl Rudpeg and wife, the Lost RV, here's my neighbor in Petaluma, California. Thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, she watch and say, Patty, learn to play that thing. <laughs> FHC, what's the name of the brewery? My, okay. Oh, oh, FHC Sportsman, my friend owns a microbrewery in historic Sanford, Florida. I want to go to Sanford, man. That, that's one of those places. I saw the, the, the Technomaria folks, uh, Chris and Sherry were... Uh, um, you know, stayed there when, in their boat for, for months and they loved it. So, yeah, definitely. Well, will there be new music for sale as soon as I finish composing it and, and producing it? But definitely, I already have a song for Texas. It's still here. I haven't had time to, to put it into notes, but I will. So, Inner Compass Brewing Company. I'm going to write that down. Because since I'm going to winter in Florida, you know that we're going to be going by Sanford, Florida at some point. Uh, how do you do this? No call, no save. Just going to save it. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, Outkeeper. Um, 
Thanks for telling me about Thetford valve lubricant. Hopefully, it will prevent that sticking problem in the future. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, uh, I'm glad that worked for you. I, I've used it periodically. You know, because uh, at, at one point, uh, one of my, my gray uh, valve started to uh, to get sticky, but now it's working fine. Now the, the black one is the one that is kind of sticky. But uh, I, I think after five years, and I've hit that thing a couple of times. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, to to replace it at some point, uh, Robert. Do you travel in the snow, ice, and cold weather? I could do. I can do cold weather ma mainly because the plumbing in my trailer, it's all inside, and uh, I've done a couple of nights, uh, you know, a, a, a couple of freezes, and it's it's held up okay. So yeah. How long do you think? Oh, I like that emoji. You will be home before the long. Uh, your winter trips may start. Uh, probably until January. Uh, uh, the, the winter trip will probably start at the Tampa RV show. In I, I I don't I don't even know exactly what date it is. I have to email the person in charge. Evelina Berry, hey Robert, is there any food, snacks, drinks, beer from your Europe trip that you've been missing? Uh, there's a couple of things. Um, in Finland, they have these things uh, for breakfast that is like a, like a, like an open sandwich with ch cream cheese and salmon. I really like that stuff. And um, that's all I can think of right now. Cal, 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 uh, uh, Shirley Benoit, Lumar tint. My windows allows me to see out in daytime and they can't see in because of reflective tint at uh, night. I shut off my lights and can't see out, but they can't see in. Yeah, the, the thing is that at night I have I like to have my lights on so I can, you know, work and see stuff. So that's... Uh... Am I frozen? No, I'm not frozen. Yeah, my o OBS here is giving me mixed signals about my internet connectivity. I don't know if it's good or not. <clears throat> Mr. Roboto, are you going to be attending the RV thing with the motorhome experiment? I don't know for sure yet. I would love to. I would love to, but I, I, um, I have to talk to him. And uh, thank you so much, Oathkeeper67B Ray, for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Barry Edelman, hey Robert, the type B RV that you rented when you went to Norway, Finland, and Sweden had a very unique bathroom shower stall. You were able to expand it out. What do you think of it? I really like that uh, European style RV. Uh, it's 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 kind of more like a C. It's, it's, it's a, it, think of it as a, as a B plus. It is a C without the without the big uh, cab over area in the front. And I really liked it. It had a silent uh, water pump, which is uh, unusual. You know, our, our water pumps here, they all go like... Brrr, it's like kind of annoying. It had a really a very good silent furnace. It didn't have air conditioner. It didn't have generator. It didn't have uh, certain things that we're used to. But, you know, that that's the way they do things uh, on the other side of the pond. So, um, actually, uh, pretty much everywhere else in the world, for the most part, except perhaps uh, England... Oh, Carlos Perez. Hello, Carlos, uh, Carlos and Kelly. I haven't seen you guys in a while. What solar panel would you get if you had to do it again? Best bang for the buck. Just to keep the batteries going for more than a couple of days. I like I like the system that I, that I have. It's a, a monocrystalline uh, 100 watt and I have three of them. Uh, Renogy is the brand. I got the, I got the kit originally. It's the kit that comes with one, the, the panel, the controller, and that's, for a beginner, I think that's a good thing, especially if if, in, in, if, if your RV doesn't come pre-wired, you know. Uh, culture, lifestyle, travel. Robert, do you like the crepe, crepe Robert? Must had one. I like all that stuff that they make in France, man. I really do. <laughs> um... Everything just takes back, and I and I I love the crepe crepe. I love macaroons. I love uh, uh, um, even even foie gras. I mean, yeah, and the wine. Oh my gosh, I envy you, man. I I really want to go back to France at some point. 
and not only Paris. I would love to do like uh, Ice en Provence in the sh in the south. Uh, and um, Neville Montgomery, right, Robert? Have you ever come across a very dangerous encounter, uh, being attacked during the night or police roadblocks, etc.? Not really. Only that that one time at band camp. Uh, no, that one time at the uh, at the at the Walmart in Horizon City, Texas, when two youngsters started started jumping on my rear bumper, and that was not wasn't scary, but was uh, unsettling. Hey, road trip buddy, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, what's um, what's up? One of my favorite road trip buddies. All right, Mr. Roboto. A few dollars for happy hour IPA. Thank you so much. Cheers. That will go towards a stiff drink tonight at the casino. They don't have IPS, I don't think. Uh, good day here from Cape Town, South Africa. All right. Jacqueline Rhodes. We have we have uh, Pelican heads from all over the world today, don't we? Um which is really cool. I'm really glad that you all uh, watch from different places. Today I sent a CD to Australia and a sticker to the United Kingdom. And um, and it's always cool when you get to send stuff, you know, abroad. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's that extra step that you have to fill up the, the customs form for the CD. It's really cool. And uh, thank you so much for that super chat, Nomadity. And uh, when are you going back to the Keys? Nomadity says further up. Oh, before that. From Fuenteventura in the Canary Islands. You would love it here. I would love to uh, to go there. And I hear that they speak the, their, their Spanish accent. It's very similar to the Cuban accent. I mean, to the untrained uh, ear, it's, it's almost undistinguishable. So I would really love to go to the Canary Islands at some point. So where, where did I left off? Uh, when are you going back to the Keys? Any day now. The only thing now that I, uh, that I have um, the Minitini in the driveway in there, I have to plan out uh, the trips a little more because it's a little more of a hassle to, to get it out of there. And probably, honestly, the next trip is going to be the Minis on the Mountain um, rally in Huntsville, Alabama. But uh, after the New Year's, we're going to do a lot of traveling in Florida. For sure. Um, uh, Tampa John, can you boondock at rest areas on Alligator Alley? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, but you can probably get away. There are, um, actually, I don't know. I know that, that there's one rest area at the halfway point. They have a huge antenna. I haven't seen any, any no overnight parking signs there. So um, I have over I have overnighted at, at Florida rest areas before, and nobody has knocked on my door. So I say, why not try it and let me know what happens. Um, I mean, if you see a sign that says no overnight uh, or no RVs, of course, don't do it. But Barbara Zig, correction, tab Power RV show November seventh to the to November tenth, twenty nineteenth. No, November, no, I'm talking about the, the no, the Tampa Harvey show I'm going to is uh, January. It's the super show. Um, so the, the one that uh, is uh, the January, yeah, for sure. Uh, Len Robertson, hi from the UK. Your programs are really good. Cool. Thank you so much. And Ruth Lewis, can you make a Pelican Head t-shirt and hat? Uh, also, can you talk about your first t sticker movie? On the Jays. Your first sticker movie on the Jays. I don't understand. But yeah, I can make it Pelican Head t-shirt. The hat is a little more complicated, but I can make it too. And uh, I will. I will. I'm going to actually... I'm going to make a note to, to take care of that this week. Uh, ever thought about doing an alien con road trip from Roswell to Area 51? Wouldn't that be cool? But I don't want to get arrested, so I'll, I'll just go to that Area 51 rest stop that is just outside, like an hour outside Las Vegas. <laughs> What's your favorite movie, Uncle Robert? Scarface? That's one of them for sure. 
I also like The Godfather, Star Wars. Um, but I don't have one favorite movie. I, I really... Um, Amadeus, the, the one about the, the life of uh, Mozart, that was one of my favorite movies too at some point. And um, yeah. Tint helps also with defect, deflecting heat. Keep up the great videos. Thank you so much, Shirley Benoit. And um, Kors, Korzilius from Southwest uh, Florida. CLT also, wait till you see the pictures and videos. Well, from France. I can't wait to see him either. On the road with a liner going to, to with a liner going to Lake Erie in Pennsylvania. Be careful, it's getting cold up there. Uh, Kevin Cock, uh, hey Robert, love your channel. Watching live from Fiesta Key Resort and Marina. Oh, the infamous Fiesta Key. I sh I sh at some point, I should give Fiesta Key a second chance. Hey, Dave VTV, it's been a long time. Hola, Robert from Rochester, New York. My daughter Isabella says hello. Hello, Isabella. And um, yeah, twice already I've missed Rochester, New York, but third time's a charm, man. When the, the next time I I head up that way, I need I really need to visit, uh, um, no, um, you know, upstate New York, and um, definitely. Um, Get on the way, hola, Jose Canes and uh, Barry Edelman. When are you gonna address the Axel thing? I don't know. Probably this winter, um, uh, our friend um, uh, Jim, Jim and Barb from Ohio, they're trying to hook me up with uh, with a couple of axles, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, lots of things might, might, might happen between here now and then. So we'll see. Mohammed Azam, hi from Saudi Arabia. All right. Now we're a truly international show. Thank you for being here and welcome. Um... Tampa John, we'll let you know about Alligator Alley. Thanks. Yeah, I don't see why not. They have a very large, it's a brand new uh, rest area. Just past the Mikosuki rest area. It used to be only east, uh, westbound, and now they, they, they added an eastbound area. So, <clears throat> and that was a big one. So I don't see why not. Uh, craft Beer Enthusiast Union. I like that name. If you plan a get-together rally at Key West for the spring, we'll be there and bring New England beer too. Oh, cool. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to um, uh, be in Florida in the spring, but I might. It depends what time of spring. Because I had this crazy idea of, of doing the Midwest in spring. And Jackie Trujillo, Robert, what's your favorite Latin music that you listen to? I'm a salsa guy when it comes to Latin music. And that's what I plan to sing tonight for the most part at the casino when I get there. You know, I have to do other stuff, but salsa is what I really like. <clears throat> uh, and I also like do like the old timer boleros, that thing, you know, Benny More. Uh, you know, I'm, I like the older style. Any thoughts on a Canada trip? Uh, yes. Hold on. I'm getting a text from France. Oh, look at that. And this camera is not focusing. Focus camera. Hello. Well, that's the Eiffel Tower behind them, if you can see it. And that's uh, Mr. CLT himself. Uh, Isabella typed in some hand-waving emojis, but they were retracted. They were retracted? I'm sorry about that. About that. Yeah, I see. Message retracted. Anyway, well, anyways, I, I have a live emoji here for you. You need to uh, have me show you around Rochester area. Yeah, I really, I really, I would really uh, love to love to explore that area at some point for sure. And uh, Chris Di Giorgio, thank you so much for that super chat. Here's some funds for you to try Sierra Nevada beer. Several greats IPA from Chico, California, great college town. Yep, Sierra Nevada. I, I used to my my um, that 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 was like uh, Sierra Nevada. I, I drank. 
that was like uh, like one of the gateway drugs, you know, towards IPA. You know, I started with the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Uh, I started liking that type of beer, and before I knew it, I was drinking IPAs. And now I know Sierra Nevada makes IPAs as well. But uh, <clears throat> when will you upload your Pacific Northwest videos? Oh man, I wish I could upload them tomorrow, but it's gonna be a while. I still have Texas. After Texas, I have more Texas. Then I have New Mexico. Then I have Colorado. Then I have a Nor a Grand Canyon. Then then I spent like a month in the West Coast in, in California and Oregon. And eventually we'll make it to, to Washington. But yeah, I'm saying about two months probably. But I'll, ma I'll, get, I'll make it there. Um, will your wife be able to join you full time eventually? Does she enjoy RVing? I really hope so. Yes, she does enjoy RVing a lot. Um, did you like Asheville, North Carolina? I sure did. Very cool town. Great music. Great music. Great food. And JS and March, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Um, thank you so much. Uh, also, MIC, L L Mike Love Mike, we recently found your cooking shows and we loved it. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't done much more cooking shows. I'm, I have to get back into those. Mm. Frank Sokal, so uh, what are you writing in your RV? Is it a novel or a biography? I'm just playing. Keep up the awesome videos. Um I'm, I'm, at some point, I'm going to write a book. Mm. Do one tonight in memory of Jose Jose. I was really thinking about it. We'll see if the, the occasion... Because, you know, usually what we play at the Magic City is, is dance music. But I was thinking of doing... Amiga, hay que ver como es el amor Que vuelve a quien lo toma Gavilano, paloma So, yeah. Grand Canyon is beautiful. I agree. That's it's, you know, I, I, I was temporarily uh, in awe of other places that I visited. But when I visited the Grand Canyon again and I visited the North Rim, which I hadn't uh, before, I'm like, no, nah, I'm back to the Grand Canyon. That's the place. And uh, no, this is not a, by the way, that's a great picture, CLT. Go pick right there on the banks of the Seine River. Uh, Jackie, hey Robert, you should try to play cumbia music. It has a good beat, uh, beat to, to dance. It's cool. I, I like cumbia too. I play cumbia as well. Uh, yeah. Davey V, gracias, Robert. And if you ever come to Rochester, New York, my home is open to you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. As you know, Rochester is the photo city. Uh, Rochester is home to uh, George Eastman, Frederick Douglass, and Susan B. Anthony. And, um, and yeah, I know the Eastman, the Eastman Kodak company was from there. And uh, our favorite YouTuber, Lolita from Philippines, living in Alabama. Really? Just um, um, JSN March, uh, you're the guy, Chris. Uh, um, no. What, what happened? Woo! The chat is going faster than I can read. Free my RV. Yes, man. Just traveling through. Lee, li, live and hello from hot and muggy Pensacola. It's hot and muggy too, man, here in Miami. Be happy to head back to Minnesota soon. It's cooler. Uh, EC Carl, Carl Silas, Carl Silas. Thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. And Brandon Stargell, uh, Pelican Head. A uh, great job so far on your summer 2019 videos. It's fun to watch and think back to June and what it was, uh, what I was doing when you said when you sent out Patreon updates. Hard to believe four months has gone by. Four months already. Oh man! Um, and this is just the beginning. You you, you like, to to speak colloquially. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, they, they have so much great footage on them. Um, on that hard drive and it's uh, you know it's going to be getting better and better and better as as we visit so many different places mario botello north or south, south rim i uh, i like both actually oh paul fossey glad you could join us uh, turning my idea uh, for the for the for, for 
this, this idea is, um, and I said it earlier, is, uh, you know, all the, for, for the podcast, many of the questions that I'm unable to, to answer here live on the video, I'm going to be answering them on the podcast. So you can subscribe to that. It's uh, Traveling Robert. No, it's not Traveling Robert. It's Living the RV Dream with Traveling Robert. It's on iTunes, everywhere, everywhere you can subscribe to a podcast. Or, um, or on my website. You just go to TravelingRobert.com and click on podcast on the menu. And uh, Johnny C., how did you like Michigan? Michigan was really cool. Unfortunately, I kind of had to rush through it, but very cool. Cool people. Cool. The climate was pretty well. Actually, I had a very bad weather day, but the other days, for the most part, were really cool. I liked it. Barb, Jim says you should meet up with us at Savannah for a few days as we head south. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, it depends when, but I don't think I'm going to be able to to make it up to Savannah. I really wish I could because I want to I wanna see T Tybee Island at some point. Uh, Derek, the summer 2019 videos are fantastic so far. My wife, Maria, and I are really looking forward to the rest of your trip throughout the fall and winter. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a... It's going to be a while till I finish that. Andrew and Monica, next trip with Mini Teeny is going to be the Minis on the Mountain rally, and that's in Huntsville, Alabama. And I don't believe it is sold out, but yeah, it's going to be all of us in, in Winnebago Micro Minis. Even the folks from Winnebago are going to be there. It's going to be cool. Uh, Hi, Robert, in your opinion, which is the best stretch of highway interstate to drive? It depends. As, for, as of the quality of the road and smoothness, uh, I think very few things beat uh, Idaho. But it's, not, it's scenic, but not all that, that scenic. Now, for the scenic, scenicness of it, is that if that's even a word, the Pacific Coast Highway... It's, it's got to be up there. Uh, interstate. Best stretch of interstate. I-70 crossing the Rockies. Uh, on the, on, indubitably. And, um, and I'll just throw you a bonu, bonus. Worse is either somewhere um, um, west of Baton Rouge in Louisiana. Or anywhere around Chicago. Uh, Sam P., thank you so much. For that super chat, really appreciate it. Get some gas, gas with this, and uh, yeah, sure, sure could use uh, gas money because that that was uh, I haven't I haven't done like a budget. I'm not all that organized, but uh, a fuel was probably the the my biggest expense on this uh, last road trip, uh, for sure. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. most likely not until December now instead of November to head your way well in November as I said I'm going to uh, Alabama well in December we might do it we, we could do Savannah in December we'll see we'll see we'll see not making any pr promises um, Red Jaguar getting a lot more trolls yeah it's uh, I guess it is uh, it, it comes with the territory right uh I, uh, luckily, I, I don't. I don't get a chance to <laughs> to see them because you guys delete them before I can see them. Uh, IR one zero zero three one nine nineteen eighty one ten o three nineteen eighty one. Thank you so much for that super chat. CLT Red, you're right, but it means Robert is big time now. Well, salute. Sing one line from Elvis. Are you lonesome tonight? Uh, Mohammed Al Hindi. I have no idea what you said, but I hope it was good. Going places. Hi, Robert. Looking forward to your review of the Berkey. I spoke with Eric from Techno RV about it, and it seems interesting. Yeah, I've, I've, and I've heard about the Berkey from other people for a long time. I, um, I listened to several podcasts uh, that they, um, they are advertising the Berkey. And uh, I'm probably going to produce this, that, that video this uh, weekend. And uh, we'll see. 
Uh, JB Red, uh, uh, I don't get it. There's nothing to, to troll. What's not to like? Ah, trolls will be trolls, man. What can I tell you? Uh, and Derek, please sing right into the west, into the sunset, right into the west. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite songs to this day now. Uh, Mike Seymour, uh, you're welcome, Polly P. Uh, Mike Seymour, any chance over the winter? Are you heading near Gulf Shores area? Would like to buy you lunch and an IPA. I'm 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 thinking of sticking to Florida for the most part, but Gulf Shores is. I mean, if I make it to the Panhandle of Florida, it's, it's not all that far. So, yeah, it could be. Richard Ramirez, Margarita Time. Uh, we'll we'll chime in next week from Marathon. Cheers. Well, cheers, uh, Richard, and enjoy Marathon. Where are you staying in Marathon? Carlos Perez, thank you so much for that super chat, man. Keep it up. I sure will. Hey, Alma Morales, my mom is here, everybody. Hi, my son. Greetings to your viewers. Waiting on Sunday to watch the, the great trip to W, West, North, East, South. I think that's what that meant. Keep it up. Love, peace, and freedom. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, when are you gonna post new videos from your summer trip 2019 every Sunday every Sunday at around uh, 7 a.m. Eastern time which is uh, I think it's 1100 or 1200 uh, UTC if you are somewhere else in the world do the math so yeah can you do some Celia Cruz Actually, I do a couple of songs by Celia Cruz, uh, uh, mostly Kimbara, Kimbara, Kuma, Kimbam, Bam, Kimbara, Kimbara, Kuma, Kimbam, Bam, Hey, Mama. Are you going to the Arctic Circle at the solstice this summer? Hopefully. That's, if all goes well, uh, I would love to do that. Uh, Kalim Franks, or Kalim, Kalim, Kalim Franks, Franks uh, I watch your videos all the time. I'm a fan. Thank you so much, and thank you for being a member as well. Uh, and Gibson, when is Fantasy Fest in Key West? I don't know exactly, but it usually happens around Halloween. It's either the weekend before or the weekend after Halloween. Oh, and what's going on with my internet? You know, I'm having a weird... Uh, I'm going to have to reset, reset my modem because I'm, I'm supposed to be having this super fast uh, um, fiber connection here at home. Any thoughts on Winnebago going to the Asdol siding on the new trailers? Uh, not sure. Good evening, creator uh, Mohammed Al Hindi. Thank you so much. Good evening to you. And uh, now everybody being saying hello to my mom. Your son is a blessing to so many people. Thank you and thank you, uh, Derek, for those kind words. And. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Keith Patterson, when and where will you be in Huntsville? My wife uh, uh, wants to meet you. It's going to be uh, early in November and I had to figure it out. And I have to figure out because it, we, we, we have the, the the rally, which is actually a pretty busy schedule. But I'm going to have to try to make time to do a quick meetup. It's like uh, from the 8th through the 11th, is it? Or from the... Is that weekend? Okay, where were we? The Huntsville Rendezvous. Okay, yes. Um, Pretty soon, everyone will be expecting you to sing at least one song. Not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, do Gloria Stefan. I don't really know anything by Gloria Stefan except come, but you can better baby, do that conga. No, you can control yourself any long. Okay. Uh, October 18th to the 27th, Key West Fantasy Fest this year. And uh, I might do it. Even if I, uh, if I uh, get demonetized. <laughs> Did you like Oregon or Washington better? 
I don't know. I think the coast in Oregon is prettier. But there's so much. I mean, and, and, and this is the thing. Oregon, I only did the coast. In Washington, I went more inland. And I even went to, to Walla Walla uh, to hang out with, with, uh, with our friend uh, uh, Angel of, uh, of When in Rome Travels. So... Um, They, they they both have their things. I did more things in, in, in Washington. That's the thing. Lisa Boxley. Wow, it's been a while. Hi, Robert from Ray and Lisa Boxley of Custom Covers of Arkansas. Cool. Thank you for being here. Uh, Chuck Mernicke. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Robert. Hello from Long Island, New York, another place that I want to visit. And Frank Sokal coming from California. Is Disney RV Resort worth it? What uh, place in Florida do you recommend? Awesome videos. Disney, um, it, it depends. It has so many different parks. So it's it's uh, it's much bigger than, than Disneyland. That That's for sure. I really like Epcot. And, um, and yeah, it's the happiest place on earth, right? Um, I like everything about Disney except for wilderness. And um, Brandon Stargold, thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks for all you do, Robert. Don't underestimate how much your videos and hard work mean to this growing community of Pelican heads. Well, thank you so much. And sometimes it is uh, it is hard to believe that that I can I can reach so many of you and so many of you. You know, being you know we are. How many today? 200, we, we picked at 281, 249 now. It's, re it's really cool. It's really cool to be able to, to, to chat with all of you and, uh, and uh, to, you know, to, to, to help you travel through my lens, basically. Is there anything you want to ask your followers? Just keep watching, keep watching and enjoy. Uh, and, uh, and enjoy, yes. Going places, Eric from Techno RV is an excellent person. Yes, I agree. Um, uh, Maria Baranek. Hi, I noticed you're wearing your RV Motorhome Hall of Fame t-shirt, my friend Jamie and I went there after watching your videos. We had a great time. Thanks for helping us explore all these sites. Yeah, and I, and I, really, I really enjoyed uh, the, the museum as well. Um, I like seeing antique stuff, you know, if I like seeing antique record players or TVs or and RVs, you know, are, are the ultimate of that. And I love antique cars. And I, if, if I knew anything about mechanics or, you know, I had that in, inclination, I would love to have a, like an old GMC and a motorhome and do things to it. Yeah. Can you do a traveling video of you driving in Mexico City, Mexico? Not with the RV, but one of these days. Why not? No fear. Why don't you like Fort Wilderness? I think it's overpriced what, for what they offer you. Uh, Barb F. Just create an adult-only YouTube channel for Vegas and Fantasy Fest, huh? Then you protect this uh, PG channel. Yeah. Yeah, Fantasy Fest. I'm going to have to blur a lot of stuff. That's the thing. It's going to be a pain to edit. <laughs> uh, are you going to the Tampa show in January? Uh, if, if all goes well, yes, I, I, I do intend to go to the Tampa show. Um, uh, Hermilio Quintana. Hello, Robert. Which is your favorite area in which you have stayed? It's it's hard it's hard to say you know it's uh, the, 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 there are so many cool places that I've that I've uh, been to that um, I can't say I have a few I have a few that that I could consider I mean if beach is is your thing um, it's super expensive but camp golf uh, in Destin it's it's very special. I really liked uh, uh, it's it's boom it's boom it's dry camping, but it's a uh, uh, Rincon Parkway in, in Southern California. 
Um, there's so many places. Hello, Roger from Kansas City. Hello, Tampa John. What is Fantasy Fest? Oh, you don't want to know. Big Fantasy Fest is a bunch of uh, half-naked people walking around the street, basically. I mean, that that's the... <laughs> It's it's a big it's probably the biggest festival in Key West and it's uh, it's um, it's kind of that you know yeah, it's it's alternate. Uh, don't get too drunk, Robert. You'll still have to show uh, perform perform later. Yeah, no, I'm just having the one beer. Yeah, because I I have to be uh, I have to be alert. In fact, th that's one of the reasons why I, I started perhaps a little earlier. Because um, because I might I, I mean I start at nine but I want to be there at eight and it's so like a fifteen minute drive it's not very far away but I haven't I haven't been singing in such a long time that uh, that I want to make sure that I have my microphone and all my cables and all the stuff you know uh, so yeah uh, you should do a nationwide meetup tour when your channel gets to one million subscribers. So many people want to meet you, uh, and Ely. Um, I think I might do it before then. And uh, save some fish, <laughs> Pelicans. Uh, Fort Wilderness is overpriced if you go on a weekend in peak season at a premium site. Yeah. Robert, are you going up the Dempster to Alaska? I might. If, if I'm able to upgrade the... Mini Tini or upgrade that su the suspension in Mini Tini, um, rather. I might. The Dempster is uh, is very uh, tempting. Uh, let's put it that way because as, as you pro I'll probably know, nine years ago I did the the Dalton Highway in Alaska, not with an RV. I rented a four by four, and that was a lot of fun. And I would like to do the the Dalton. Uh, not the whole thing with the RV, but go go up, up, up to like Marion Creek, drop the trailer there, and keep, keep going to the to, to the Arctic uh, Ocean as well. Uh, Andrew and Monica, thank you so much for that uh, super chat. Have a drink on us at the casino. Keep up the good work. I sure will. Thank you so much. I won't, I won't have too many because then I will start uh, singing gibberish, but I'll definitely have a gin and tonic uh, or two actually because they're, they're they're not very expensive there. Interesting is an understatement. What did Polly P say? Fantasy phase sounds interesting. It's very interesting. I'd say, I'd say it's an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely something to see. Don't take your kids there. By no means, don't take your children. It's not a, it is not a, uh, it's not PG, not even PG 13. It's a, it's our borderline uh, NC-17. <laughs> Hello, Robert. New to the chat. Just go back. Just got back from Bar Harbor. Enjoy your post. I want to go back to Bar Harbor, man. I want to go back with more time. Uh, uh, hey, Robert. Last Sunday's video was great. Can't wait for our next uh, RV trip in our 2455BHS BHS Mini. Yeah, definitely. Um, Johnny C, hello there. Are you in for the winter startup in the in the spring going? Are you in for the winter startup in the w spring going? I don't understand, but I'm. I mean, I mean, whatever it is. <laughs> um, I think. Uh, do, do we? Do we? Have, what time is it? It's six fifty-four. We can do this for another few minutes. And uh, I see myself buffering from time to time in the back. I don't know what's going on. He says, we've been at this for an hour and eight minutes, 257 watching. Thank you so much uh, to all of you for being here on your trip. I still, I, I still don't know, but, but uh, uh, I, the, the idea is to winter in Florida this year, and uh, there's lag on my end, too. Uh, hey, Robert, love your Key West videos. Thank you. And I, I haven't gone to Key West in a while. I might go back at some point. 
We are on our way to Cape Cod to camp. Another place that I missed. Tampa John, see you at the Tampa show. Uh, then we'll head round trip to LA for four months. Visit daughter. Oh, LA for four months. Cool. On my next trip. Well, the the the, the next trip is going to be winter in Florida, and it's going to be several trips uh, because I want I want to do them with Ely, all of them, and um, we're thinking, you know, doing. The, the southern half of Florida for the most part and, and maybe some things a, a little further north like go back to the Suwannee River maybe even the Panhandle but we'll see CLT did you know here in, in, in is France at Mickey DS quarter pounder with cheese is called Le Royal with cheese yeah you know why because they don't use uh, uh, they, they use the metric system so a quarter pound doesn't mean anything to them they will have to be like an eighth of a, of a kilogram, and that's kind of hard to pronounce. So they called it the Royal. Numar or Tiffin Class A? Well, Numar is now Winnebago, so I don't know. I like both. I think they're, they, they, they both seem to be very well made. So, yeah. Thanks, Robert, from Fort Myers Beach. You keep me dreaming. Another place that I want to go back to, uh, Red Coconut. And Heidi Pierce, hi Robert, look forward to your videos. Uh, th thank you for Southern, from Southern California. And uh, CLT loves Pulp Fiction. I like that movie too. I would like to make a video of you going to, a hot, to hot Springs, Arkansas. At some point, definitely, I would love to go there. I hear they 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 they're going to the place that where they bathe you, which is kind of weird, but I will do it. <laughs> Red Jaguar and, and loves Pulp Fiction too. Eddie Caballero, ever been to River Ranch RV Resort? No, not yet. I've heard of it. Uh, I will be there Friday through Monday after Thanksgiving. I hear it's really good. Uh, Lady Bike Racer, uh, will you be traveling through Oregon next this year? No, I already did. I, I, I did Oregon back in, in July, late July, was it? Was it August? It's all a blur. It's starting to become a blur. I have to, I have to start editing all these videos soon or I'll, I'll forget everything I did. How much, how much video do you have to last you till you are on the, on the go again? No, I'll be on the go again before I edit all the video that I have. It's, it's, I have at least four months worth, if not more. I'm sure more. I, I really overdid it on this trip. In, in fact, uh, to tomorrow I might make like a, like a plan, you know, a list of all the places and all the possible videos. Because some places I have so much video of that I don't know how many videos it's going to take. Like California, like Southern California. When I, when I stayed at, at, at uh, Anaheim for, for VidCon... <clears throat> one day I went down to San Diego. I don't know if, if I can make all that into one video or I'll make San Diego separate. Um, I was in San Antonio twice. I don't know. I still don't know if, if it's going to be feasible to do both, to join both San Antonios together as one video or, or doing separate. You know. Hey, come visit Belgium. I would love to. They have great beer in Belgium. And uh, Kalim Franks, I'm going there by the end of October. Also from Tennessee. Cool. Uh, John MB, good night, great show. And uh, Red Jaguar, what big brains on Robert or was that Brad? Huh? Mar Maria Baranik, uh, one of my favorite videos was when you went to Death Valley. I always thought that it was a uh, flat desert. I plan on going there in the spring. Your photography just was beautiful. Yeah, Death Valley, I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I didn't think the park was going to be so big and so so uh, diverse, so, so so varied, you know, in landscapes. I thought it was just the valley, so definitely. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to start wrapping this up and get ready for my gig tonight at the Magic City Casino with the Grupo Cache band and... Um, and we'll, we'll be there at the second floor at the, at the makeshift stage right next to the bar. 
will be loud. So if you want to check it out, go there. And uh, thank you so much to you all for being here, uh, Lucky Duck Productions moderators. And all the moderators, thank you so much for keeping the chat clean. And um, and uh, good night. Uh, let, me read, let, let me read whatever I have here. Oh, waffles and special fries in Belgium. Yeah, I know. And you put a mayo on the fries, which is actually really good. <laughs> Have you been to North Dakota yet? Not yet, but I will. I will at some point. And uh, have a great gig. Thank you so much. Actually, let me play something real quick. Same song we always play, but it's tradition. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be one to argue with tradition. You know? oh, this microphone is really good. I'm riding, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, cause I'm free in my RV, yeah, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, cause I'm free in my RV. Everybody for being here. Good night. Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next Friday, right here, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, um, are we still daylight savings? Probably. Yeah. 6 p.m. next Friday. See you then.